In this video, I'm gonna show you the best gun type defense in Madden 23 and the best kind of strategy to defending this formation that you can use. Now, if you wanna get my entire defense viewbook, we're gonna the 46 playbook, you can get access to that by becoming a Patreon member today. It's only $10 to do so, and it gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. It also is gonna get you access to all of the material that we're gonna be dropping that is going to help you prepare uh, for future Maddens like Madden 24. So we've got a lot of content for the summer planned um, that is going to help you improve your game going into Madden 24 and this is one of those videos that's going to teach you kind of a concept for how to defend um, against, you know, against like a compression set. So really the best thing that you can do when we talk about defending against a compression set, what I really like to do is put my cloud flats on 25 or 30, put my curl flats on five, and then you pretty much want to have like this. Now, one other quick tip, go ahead and make sure if you're on next gen that you have the zone coverage set to match. And then we're going to utilize this play cover four show two out of the three, three cup formation. So you can put that in your audibles and you're going to come out in nickel three, three. So what we get by doing this is when we go down into this defense, this coverage is really, really, really good for defending um, any kind of compression style set. And the reason why this is such a good defense is because this is actually a match coverage that we're going to be utilizing zone drops with. And so you're going to get ma some matching with some zone drops kind of mixed in to make this a really good defense for um, the current meta and what you're seeing. So what's if you think about tight for just a second, if you think about gun tight, what you have with gun tight is you have a, a compressed formation. And in the compressed formation, they can only really run two directions. They can either run up and out, so like a corner route, or they could run across. They can run crossing routes, slant routes, post routes, drag routes, right? So if you think about it, where are the routes going to break open though? Typically what they're going to do is these routes are going to open up essentially outside of the numbers. So you're gonna start inside and you're gonna run yourself open outside of the numbers. So for example, this play bench is a great little, um, a great example of kind of a bigger deal. So if you look at this real quick, if I'm in this cover four and I leave it just like this, this short side flood is really what makes tight so good. This year specifically is the ability to flood short side against cover four or cover three coverages. So we don't want to play cover for the short side. We want to play cover for to the wide side. So the best way to do that is we're just going to put the short side corner into a cloud. And the beauty of cover four is the alignment of where everybody's at. They're already backed off really well for you. So when I put that 30 yard cloud out there, that 25 yard cloud out there, if they try to run a corner route to the right side, you're going to notice that that cloud flat is going to is going to play it. Now, if you ever get something like what you just saw where he moves in and it messes it up, all you want to do is just press and then just back off the uh, the outside guys. So I like to just back off on the outside guys. And obviously, what and, and again, what you'll see here now is, you know, now he's not going to go inside and then he's going to sit out there and he's going to play that short side corner out. The short side corner out, if you think about it, is really the main thing that someone that's running compression is going to go to again and again and again. Now, there is this new route combo that a lot of people like to do out of tight. Um, and this is why if you're going to run this defense, it's really important to make sure that your safeties have mid zone knockout. When you press them or if you just manually walk them down, if they don't have mid zone knockout, basically what you're saying is you're good with this all day long. This concept right here where we throw basically this route and he's going to get hit and he's not going to get knocked out. You're good with that all day long. Now, if I sub those guys out and I put somebody in there that can actually knock it down because they have mid zone knockout, it will make this defense significantly better, um, it, significantly better. And furthermore, if we go to this drive corner concept that a lot of people like to run, this, this is also going to help us in terms of defending that. So now I'm on the left hash. So what do I want to do? I want to put a cloud flat on the left. Now, what I would also recommend with these linebackers, okay, um, which in this example, I'm going to use this guy because he doesn't have the ability. Man this guy up 
on problem receivers. So one of the routes that's problematic um, maybe is this deep corner route to the left side, or maybe it's this outside corner route, whatever it is, okay? But man him up, and then what you'll see is this deep corner play that everybody likes to run, um, or PA seams, all you're gonna have to do is use her in the middle of the field because that corner route, you see how he's not gonna get open against that safety uh, just like that. So you're able to defend one of the best setups in the game. This also, if we were go, if we were to go to um, tight slots halfback week, this would also be a really good setup uh, for defending that. Now I want to show you the mid zone KO thing. So um, the thing that's really nice about this mid zone knockout, and you could even if you don't want to man him up, if you don't want to man him up, put him in a vertical hook. Okay, put him in a vertical hook. Now you have an extra user in the middle of it or an extra yellow zone. But the beauty of this is these mid zone KOs, um, if they if they even get close to that that slant, they will knock or that post route, they will knock it down. So and, and I'll try to give you a little bit better of an example here. Let me do this type of setup. Um, you know, so something like this. And I'm not going to put a yellow zone out there, but basically these safeties, when you get them down about at about eight yards, something like this, this is a really good depth for them to be able to get in the throwing lanes on these po like this post right here. So you see right there, you also get matching from your three rack, which is really nice. Why? Because we didn't put our hooks on five. So you get this kind of smart zone coverage when you play like this. And again, if you don't want to press, then just walk these guys down yourself. Now I'm going to spy this guy to try to get the the just the deep blue zones to light up. But again, you know, you get something you get something like this. This is very common, and you see, watch these safeties with that mid zone. See how they break on the ball, and then they knock it out just like that. So mid zone KO is really important if you're going to play this style of defense. But what this style of defense does, and what makes this this style of defense so good, is you might think, well, what if they did? What if they did this adjustment where they put a streak over here, and they're going to clear out space now to throw that guy over the top of a 30 yard cloud? Okay, that would normally work if we didn't get that man up. But now you see because of the man up, that uh, inside quarter is going to play it every single time. So that's why this defense is so good because it constrains the space that gun tight wants to attack. Gun tight wants to throw corner routes. They want to throw slant post concepts. They want to throw the ball to the outside of the field. And when you can use a coverage like this, cover four show two with the zone drops and the coverage and the adjustments that I just showed you, it really takes your gun tight defense to a whole new level. Guys, I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you want to get my entire gun tight offense or uh, my entire uh, three, three cup defensive ebook, head down to the description and go join the Patreon. 10 bucks gets you access to all of our ebooks over there. Three, three cup, dollar, nickel over, big nickel over G, gun tight, trips, bunch, U trips, everything. Over 25 different ebooks this year we've dropped and we're going to be dropping even more this summer to help you guys prepare for Madden 24. So if you're not on the Patreon yet, head down to the description and go sign up today.